If you haven't been keeping up with my Fallout 4 console mod series, you totally should be. We've done around 9 episodes so far, and we're currently taking a kind of mid-season break, so it's the perfect time to catch up on anything you've missed. Although we are taking a break for a couple of weeks to play No Man's Sky, I thought it'd be a great time to pull together the top 5 Fallout 4 console mods that I've featured in the series. I've tried to keep these mods as varied as possible, trying not to include any mods that are very similar or pretty much interchangeable. Because, after all, it wouldn't be a very enjoyable video if it was all boob mods. <coughs> Let's start with an absolutely essential mod for anyone wanting to dive into the console mod scene. The cheat menu does exactly what it says on the box. It gives you access to a holotape which allows you to manipulate a number of in-game stats like your level or health. It allows you to change the time, the weather, your player height, your walk speed, your carry weight, there's absolutely tons this mod does. It also adds a cheat room into the game, a little distance away from Vault 111. In here you can find every item in the game, completely new worlds and some really, really awesome cheat weapons, like my personal favourite, the Mini Nuke Minigun. If you're after a really fun and entertaining weapon, the Propulso 5000 has you covered. This mod will begin a quest in your game to retrieve the weapon from a rather disgruntled postman. And once you've dealt with him, you're granted your very own force push gun. This thing is as dangerous to you as it is to others. Think of it like having your own portable jet engine capable of launching people for miles. It's absolutely crazy fun and can cause some real carnage. Just be very careful, because it's not only NPCs that can be affected by this weapon. During the console mod series, we took a look at a couple of mods that aim to improve the female player models in-game. Some of these mods, while making, say, the character's boobs look bigger, would really leave them looking deformed or unnatural. Enter the curvy female mod, which pretty much hit every checkbox we were looking for. There's not really too much to say about this mod, if you want your in-game women to look a bit more curvaceous, then this mod will be your best bet. Green in the Commonwealth is perhaps my favourite mod we've looked at. It completely overhauls the in-game world, adding lush flora as far as the eye can see, well as far as the view distance goes. If you're tired of the same old brown Commonwealth, with this mod you're now able to wander through a world more akin to Skyrim than a post-apocalyptic wasteland. My god, this mod is incredible. Kaiju of the Commonwealth adds everyone's favourite King Lizard into the Fallout world. This mod will add a beach ship to Spectacle Island, which will give you some background story information as well as an incredibly powerful nuclear rifle. You'll then have 7 days to prepare Spectacle Island for Godzilla's arrival, and what a spectacular arrival that is. Coming in from the sea, he will wreak havoc on the entire settlement. Not only can he deal out massive damage, but he can summon creatures to fight alongside him. This mod is bloody awesome. So, there you have it guys. That was a look at my top 5 favourite mods we've taken a look at in the Fallout 4 console mod series. If you know any more awesome mods that I should take a look at in further episodes, then be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I've been the Royal Gorilla. Over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bad easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke aka the Royal Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da 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 He's almost got everything you need from GTA 5